After years of endless war with aliens, Amelia thinks she has found a way to find peace, but will she be successful or will the Earth face extinction? The movie begins with a monologue from Amelia, telling us two years ago an alien ship called the Mothership arrived out of nowhere, sending thousands of unmanned drones that killed billions of people. But what came next was worse. The Mothership sent an alien force hellbent on destroying what is left of humanity, and if it wasn't for a handful of men and women, the aliens would have succeeded. The human's counter-assault was successful, and they were even able to gain allies with some aliens that joined the human cause. But now the alien leaders are getting more offensive, and Amelia fears the worst is yet to come. The next scene opens with Bud Miller showing Project Rainfall to Matt and his team. But our story starts 72 hours earlier. An army force led by Captain Wessex is fighting off an alien force in Sydney. The city has been decimated, and Western Sydney has been fully occupied by the aliens. But the fighting continues as humans try to get backgrounds. At the same time, Matt is also leading a secret mission in the occupied areas to free prisoners and gain information from their base. He manages to enter the base, but as he is searching through the alien computers, they are attacked by the alien elite forces named Kali. The Kali have superior armor and have only been sent that day, but with the help of Marcus and Dennis, the team manages to take them out. Amelia is traveling with Abe to meet up with the alien allies, and they get told something big is coming, as the Kali's protectors or the elders have been sent to Earth to retrieve rainfall. Later, everyone gathers back at the Resistance HQ in Sydney. Matt has brought the Kali's helmet for investigation, which intrigues one of the aliens, which Matt calls Gary. Matt doesn't really like Gary because he is an alien, but Gary has been with the humans from the start and is trusted dearly by Amelia. Commander Hayes gathers up all the team and reveals to them the counteroffensive in Sydney is failing and orders evacuation before everyone gets blown up. But before everyone disperses, Amelia tells them about rainfall, an unknown event the aliens keep talking about. Captain Wessex then reveals rainfall as a secret American base in Australia, so Hayes agrees to send two people there and investigate. Matt and Gary volunteer to do the job, and they split from the team. The evacuation starts, but the aliens are now heavily attacking, killing more people. Hayes orders to board everyone and leave, but Amelia sees he is holding the Eli aliens at the back, which she learns is because humans need to board first. After a heavy gunfight, most people make it out of Sydney as the city gets destroyed by a massive alien missile. Matt and Gary also make it alive with their rideable pet called Vox, but they find Amelia's younger brother hiding in their vehicle. He tells them he wanted to help them, and with any other choice, they bring him with them. The three then ride the Vox and travel through the countryside of Australia. They pass through mining fields of the aliens, and Gary explains their planet was also like that before it died. They then find Callie's attacking people. Gary then goes to talk to them, distracting them while Matt and Marcus get into a better position and attack them. Marcus and Gary manage to take over one of their flying cars, and Matt grabs on the other car. They then get into a gunfight, and the trio manage to take out most of the Collie. Matt is then grabbed by the last Collie who strangles him, but before he is killed, he is saved by his Vox who kills and eats the Collie. Gary explains Vox is a very loyal animal, and they continue their journey. Amelia and the evacuated group preach a new mountainside military base in the morning, but as soon as they get there, the Eli aliens are taken to be vetted before housing. Amelia and Abe are not happy with the segregation, but they are promised the aliens will be looked after. Commander Hayes, leading the special force, has now taken control of the military base, and his way of letting is very strict. Dennis is not really happy with him, but Abe convinces him to just give Hayes a chance. Hayes then takes Abe and Amelia to a tour of the base. He tells them they have everything here, including a medical center and a very equipped and capable air force. He further explains they are preparing for a war against the aliens using their own intelligence. Matt and his team are resting for the night, but they start hearing a noise, which Gary tells them it is an apex predator called Zillick from his home planet. And sure enough, the Zillick appears, but when they try to run, they get stopped by the Kali. A fight breaks out, and we see how elite of a fighter Gary is as he takes on multiple Kellys, but the main problem is the Zillick, who starts attacking them. Matt gets cornered by the giant beast, but he is saved by his old friend Peter and his daughter Bella. Peter and Bella then take the team to their village, which Peter started a few months ago. He tells them they can stay there for the night, but they couldn't even do that as the villagers led by Jacob come to Peter's home holding torches and demanding he gives them Gary so they can kill him. Peter tries to explain that Gary is an ally and he is on a mission, but the villagers don't listen and threaten him to give the alien up. Gary then comes out of the house and tells them he doesn't want them to fight each other. He then tries to scare the villagers by growling at them, but that doesn't work and they attack him. Peter also joins the fight and tries to defend Gary as Bella and Marcus protect the Voxes. But as they are losing the fight, Matt shoots his gun on the air and threatens to shoot the villagers. The villagers then disperse with the promise of Gary leaving immediately. So the team now joined by Peter and Bella leave the village for 
rainfall. Back in the base, we see Amelia doesn't really trust Hayes, and since Dennis also doesn't like him, they team up and get into the restricted area. They manage to get the key from Robin, who is the lead pilot, and Amelia enters the area as Dennis distracts the guards. Amelia finds restricted labs and find a bioweapon which Hayes has been developing. She then accidentally falls into a tube which sends her to a prison area where she finds all the aliens imprisoned, tortured, and experimented on by humans. Amelia is disgusted by this and tries to release the aliens, but she is stopped by the guards who beats her up and send her back up. Hayes then orders his men to put her in prison, but before they can do that, Abe and Dennis arrive with their men just in time. Amelia then tells Abe everything she saw which shocks him. Hayes then says the aliens have the tactical and material advantage so if humans can experiment on a few of them to find a weakness, then that is good. Amelia then brings up that the bioweapon would wipe out everyone, to which Hayes responds that's just a tactical advantage. Abe then shouts at everyone and tells them humans don't commit mass genocide to win a war and tries to talk to the good side of Hayes but Hayes is convinced this is the only way to win. Hayes then asks who was with him, which forces Abe to side with Amelia and relieve Hayes from his command, but Hayes is not going down without a fight as he and his guards aim their gun on Abe. Everyone then gets out their gun creating a standoff. But before anyone does anything stupid, Captain Wessex arrives with his forces just in time. He hears both sides and decides to side with Amelia. Hayes and his men are then taken into custody, but while this was going on, the aliens had gained ground and started attacking the base. Captain Wessex and his force then leave to stop the aliens as Abe takes control of the operation room. The aliens send a message through the military comms and ask to send Amelia for a talk or that they will kill everyone. Amelia agrees to talk and she is joined by Abe. The two meet an elder, who tells them she has heard about the atrocities humans are committing against the aliens. Amelia explains this was not here, and she proposes a peace deal where humans and aliens can coexist. But the elder is unconvinced, and she tries to kill Amelia with her spear, but Abe jumps in and takes the spear, sacrificing himself. Amelia then runs back to the base as Wessex and his team cover her. Meanwhile, the team in the operating room are watching what is happening, and after seeing Abe die, one of them releases Hayes and he takes back control. Few try to stop him, but he shoots them. He then orders Robin and her team to attack the aliens with the bioweapon and tells the other team to kill off all the prisoner aliens. Back to Matt and his team, they have finally made it to their destination, and when they enter the base, they find Bud and an alien named Steve just hanging out. The two then take the team to where Project Rainfall is located, and we catch up to the first scene of the movie. Bud reveals Project Rainfall as an alien asteroid sent 65 million years ago to wipe out Earth so they can settle on it, revealing the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was sent by the aliens. Gary then explains their planet was millions of light years away so everyone was in a stasis traveling through space. He also reveals the aliens can't build the asteroid in space so they need to destroy it before they can retrieve it. Matt then calls Hayes to ask what the planet, but when Hayes says don't destroy the asteroid and instead uses his bait so when the aliens come Hayes can use his bioweapon, Gary shuts off the comms and tells Matt the bioweapon will kill every alien even allies who has helped the humans and helped them fight back since day one. Matt agrees with Gary's plan, and they scramble to find flammable materials to destroy the asteroid. But the Kali has also found the location and arrived at the base, and a fight breaks out. Back in the military base, Amelia has slipped back in the restricted area. She gets on the comms and tells Robin to not use the bioweapon as it will kill everyone, and Robin's team aborts except one who blows up one ship. Amelia then goes into the lab, but she is ambushed by Hayes who starts beating her up. He then starts choking her, but she manages to trip him over and close the lab at him after releasing the chemical on him. She then runs to the prisons as Hayes dies by his own bioweapon. Amelia then releases all the aliens and the humans stop fighting after finding out Hayes is dead. Captain Wessex takes control again and everyone evacuates as the aliens send their drones to destroy it. Back at the rainfall base, Matt and his team manage to take out the Callies, but the alien has sent a gravity ship which starts sucking up the whole room. Matt, Bella, Marcus, and Gary are then all sicked in with the asteroid into the ship. Few hours later, Amelia with her group arrive at the village. Peter then reveals to her that the aliens have their asteroid. And the movie ends as the two look up knowing their fate is now in the aliens' hands. 